What's up, guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today, for the exercise library, I want to talk about good mornings. Good mornings is a great exercise to strengthen the posterior chain. You might be saying, what the hell is the posterior chain? It's just the backside of your fucking body, okay? It's not that complicated. The entire backside of your body, more importantly, like your spinal erectors, the lower back, uh, even where it enforces upper back, glutes, hamstrings, and even to a small degree, calves. So, <clears throat> this is an exercise you definitely want to start slow with. If you are using a safety squat bar, it's best to use it on a competition rack because it sits really well. If it's on a regular squat rack, specialty bars tend to sit off to the side, so be really careful with that. Start very, very low weight with this and just go through a week or two. If you're not used to the exercise, don't just load it up like I am. Um, tends to be, if you got a pretty good deadlift, your good morning will be pretty good. The easiest way I like to think about a good morning to explain it to a new client is, first of all, I'll teach them an RDL first, where you're going down with dumbbells or a barbell or something like this. It's the same thing virtually, but a little bit more folding in half and the weight's up on your shoulders. So you can do it with a regular barbell, safety squat bar. In my mind, is a whole lot easier. Remember, low reps is better. We're gonna hit a set of six. Definitely gonna have to go up on that. That's a little light. But as far as your stance with your feet is concerned, you're gonna get just about the same stance as your deadlift would be. So wherever you jump from, but if you're a bigger guy or a bigger gal and you need somewhere for your stomach to go, you're gonna have to get your feet a little bit wider and then shoulder width. So when you go down, your stomach has somewhere to go. Otherwise, it's gonna shoot your back really far back. And because your gut, my gut is there, if I have my legs too close together, what happens is I go down only so far and then my back will round to compensate. And you'll get crazy lower back pain, uh, end up with like piriformis syndrome. So you'll be constantly having the nagging there. So I hope that information helps you. If you have any questions, throw this into a strength cycle. I would not do them more than once a week. Check us out on Instagram, One Big Impact, and also on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Have an amazing day and be stronger than your excuses. Side note, I probably didn't talk about this. By the way, I realized my phone is not sideways, so I kind of screwed that up for YouTube. But if you have a really strong deadlift and a, a weak squat, I would probably say not focus so much on strengthening your posterior chain. I would bring up your quads first. So say your deadlift's like 405 and your squat's like 225 to depth, stop working your posterior chain, use that time, effort, motivation, and energy to build up your quads and whatever weaknesses you have on the other end so you can become a more balanced lifter. Um, so if your deadlift's really strong, you should probably not be working your posterior chain as much. And you might be thinking, well, he just said his deadlift's really strong. Well, mine is, but it's not that I'm using this as a strengthener. I'm using it more to make sure my spinal erectors are healthy and I can handle the hot type of loads that I'm putting on. I'm not putting max loads. I'm doing it for more of a hypertrophy thing. So if you're doing it for a strength base, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. All right, thanks guys.